morning. Here we are coming from the M6. Get up past Manchester. No, it's no. It's Florida. Feel a bit homesick today, so here we are. This is a wee treat for me. Alright, hope you enjoy the video. Kansas in a Walmart parking lot. Uh, I got up to Idle Falls Thursday about 8 o'clock and worked in the truck with Jeff till about 11, 12 o'clock that night. I was beat and then next day did a few things, got some groceries and whatnot and met my daughters and then went to get parts and we fitted a new starter motor to this thing. I just got a new starter motor, I'll explain that in a minute, I'll show you it. Um, and then I jumped in the truck, got it fitted, and I run, run all the way down to Leighton, Utah, got unloaded at about two in the morning, and then headed back up to Idaho for an eight o'clock load on Saturday morning, and then Jeff and I worked. After that, I got cleaned up, and then we worked in the truck until Saturday night at freaking 1 a.m. <laughs> So I was not fit to go anywhere, slept, got up Sunday morning and drove out yesterday across Wyoming into Nebraska, got to Ogallala, it's a cool word that isn't it, Ogallala. Uh, spent the night there, got some groceries this morning and come along I-80. Uh, and I always come off at 369 and head south, but just as I came off the fan was kicking on and off and I thought, oh, pulled over, had a look at it and had a water leak. Um, so stopped, went into a workshop, got them to change that for the bargain price of 185 bucks. And then I'm down here in Hiawatha, Kansas just now. Uh, I'm not really behind time, I'll make some time up tonight. You can always run on harder these days. So um, I'll have let you have a look, see what we did to the truck, okay? Um, hold on to turn this around. So here's my monster Cummins. ISX. Alright, so down here, uh, see that piece of blue hose there? That started leaking the day, so just pulled on and got it changed. It was too cold to do it myself, it's freaking freezing here and windy. So there's my water pump down in there that we fitted a weekend ago. And up here, is the fan clutch that was a beast to come off i don't mind telling you so to do that the hood slides back nah, it's too close slides back all these hoses and brackets never come off and the radiator slides forward the fan comes off <sighs> all these tensioners and belts come off 
and then there's bolts down in the back in here that, that come off to let the fan come off and then you've got to pull it apart and put you know new clutch kit in it and everything so that was done but before we, and then we're air conditioning has been done what else did they do oh we got we got new motor mounts on it this see how this is closer to the close to the turbo it was um this here was this gap was almost gone the rubber and the the mounts down in here trying to see them that's the bolts but the new mounts are in there and down the front i got some more down in there too if you can see i don't know if you can it's shiny kind of bits there but new rubber in there uh and that's that i told you last week we got the tires done and whatnot but then i changed this as well when it was it looked a little bit it wasn't bust but anyway it's changed anyway better to Prevention is better than cure, as they say. So, on the way back last week, I never mentioned it, but the starter motor is down in there. See that there? It's a, it's a reduction uh, gear ratio. I might have got that wrong. I probably have. So it spins twice as quick. It gives you more torque because it's geared. It's not just a direct drive type thing. So up here there's a little that's new that really that stinking really we changed this starter um oh, probably a month or two ago and then when i was in iowa 80 it wouldn't start luckily it was in the hill and i just bumped it and drove all the way back um but so that's that there that really fried the starter there's new wires on there going down into the starter as well. I don't know if you can see that, probably not. But we replaced the wiring because it melted it. So it switched on when it shouldn't have switched it on and it fried the starter. So I'm wondering if that's what caused the starter to go the first time. So I had to buy another starter and get that fitted as well. So the motor mounts are new on it. There's a couple of other things I've got to do. We've got the screens done a couple of weeks ago as well. Uh, this reefer's going to kick on, that'll be the end of the conversation if that does. Uh, a couple of other things I need to do, my, my round this side here, my washer bottle. Yeah, I can hear the reefer's kicking. I need to change this because it's leaking. I'll get that when I go back next time. Um, we'll cut these, this off. This is going to get straightened up and we've got new, uh, new steps to get welded on. I'm going to go back up to Jeff's. And these fenders here, this is going to come off. Got a new bumper on it and a new fender as well, get that done. Uh, I'm going to get to show you something and my stupid brain is going, forgotten what it was. But couldn't be that important. So, try to get the truck up to where I want it to be. Oh, yeah, there's that step there, it's, it's cracked, so that'll get replaced. But we're doing alright. Not a bad sunset up here the night, but I can tell you it is freezing. I came out of the fuel station in Aurora, Nebraska uh, the day. My hat nearly blew off. I felt like I had no clothes on. The wind was cutting through it. Must have been a 40 mile an hour wind and it was freezing. And a guy said to me, oh, it's a cool breeze that. And I thought, no, pal. It's a freaking ice cold blizzard, that's what it is. A cool breeze, understatement of the year, right there. I've seen a couple of guys on uh, the YouTube saying that some of the food processing places are closing down, so I don't know what that means. So, time for everybody to run out and panic buy their meat. If you like chicken, go get it now. Anyway, I'll better shut my hood here and uh, see if I can do it with the one hand. Spring assisted, you see. And slowly let it down. There we go. Fantastic. I wish I had trucks years ago and never bought my backside with buses. Easy access to everything. If all these jobs had to be done in a coach, it would have been a complete nightmare. 
so that's all that holds the hood on, eh? Okay, check my temperature. It's supposed to be 45. What a good trucker. Anyway, I'm heading that way. So I'll get the, the sun in my mirrors in the way, but oh, in the way heading east. So, right, I'll speak to you again later. I hope you like these videos. If you do, please subscribe, alright? Speak to you later.